and I did have to send it to Paris. To Par <laughs> did I try to say that with an accent to Paris? And then... Hello, welcome to The Traveling Marketer. My name is Marielle and today we're going to talk about fashion and my go-to work bags. I only really have two, but there is a bonus in the end. For me, it has to fit my 13 inch MacBook for it to qualify as a work bag. It has to be big enough for that. Most of us do carry a lot more when we go to work. For me, that's my laptop, my notepad, a book, sometimes a pouch for my toiletries and a pouch for my non-toiletries. What are non-toiletries? That's pretty much my card holder, my keys, my pen, my USB charger because I charge my phone uh, using my, my monitor's power at my desk in the office and my work badge, of course. And I want to show you what actually goes in my toiletry pouch. Here you go. I also wanted to say that initially, I wanted to buy one of those designer toiletries, you know, that Louis Vuitton ones. But then I thought, what's the point? There's really no need. So instead, I'm repurposing this small Mimco purse, which was gifted to me by my sister-in-law. And this is where I carry my tissues, my hand sanitizer. Since COVID started, I started carrying them everywhere, my flaws. And of course, my hand cream as well. I also repurpose this Petey Paula pouch. My best friend gifted me a Petey Paula necklace and it came with this pouch. And this is where I put my non toiletries that I mentioned earlier. So right now there's nothing, there's nothing in it because I've been working from home since we're still in lockdown in Sydney. But yeah, those are the two, those are the main things. I don't use a bag organizer because I put everything in pouches anyway. If you came here to watch the only two work bags that you really need, because you can really just do with two bags, make sure that you make it a light one and a dark one. In my case, I have a black one and a white slash cream one for my light version. So let's start with the light one. My Louis Vuitton Never Fool. I remember when I was working at Vinnie's, there was a regular customer that would carry this exact same bag. It was because of her that I that I wanted it and who is quite hard to find. This is the Damier. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So if you know how to pronounce it right, let me know in the comments. But this is the Damier Azure. And Azure actually apparently means blue in French. And that is because you'll see the white and gray check. Those gray are actually apparently blue. So this is the MM size. There are three sizes and MM is pretty much the medium. It is called never full for a reason. Everything really fits. You can also adjust it so that it's more of a bucket bag, like so. And then you just pull that in, yeah? And then you do the same thing on the other side, but it doesn't really work. I'm, I, I'm telling you, it's, it would go loose and go back to its original shape anyway. So this wasn't very easy to find back in 2017, 2018 is when I bought it. But I did, I finally found it in Seattle at the Nordstrom store. I bought it for, let's find the receipt here. Here's the receipt. I bought it for... $1,453.32 USD and in today's exchange rate that is $2,000 in AUD and I checked it last night on the store and it now retails for $2,240 Australian 
that is it's actually sold out on the louis vuitton website so maybe it is still quite hard to hard to find i've had it for three years and two days so i checked the receipt bought it september 16 2018 and i've had to send it out for repair in fact this is my second louis vuitton bag that i've had to send for repair and this particular one i actually had to pay for it it was just over a hundred dollars the size strap so this particular strap broke it's this like clasp right here i can't remember if it was this part or it was that that broke but anyway it, it snapped and obviously had to um had to repair that as you can see they they asked me well because it was over a dollar uh, over hundred dollars so they asked me if i wanted to swap both out and like no and that is because look at the color of this it hasn't patinaed much because i haven't been with the lockdown haven't been really going out as much in comparison to the rest of the leather in this bag which is the perfect honey color that's just i don't want it i don't think i want to i want it to go any darker this is just the right patina that i like i've seen them really dark brown and i don't like the contrast of it with this light canvas it was it was just a bit too much yeah so you'll see that in the in the handles and again if it doesn't work i might have to show it to you via a zoom this is what that should be looking like that dark seal and if you look at this newer one you'll see exactly what that looks like that's ex no longer the case uh, especially where where it hits my it hits my shoulder but it still does the job stitching is still perfect the corners are great it's canvas so it's kind of hard to really break it a uh, little bit of discoloration on this corner here but outside of that it's it's still it, it's still perfect i also have my initials stamped on it i did have it stamped in sydney because i was traveling in seattle then brought it back to australia and they i had it stamped in the sydney sydney store looking inside it's just a it's plain tote bag here there's a zipper in here that goes as deep as the bag and there's a pouch as well which i don't really tend to to use and you can see how that is a lighter patina as well because it doesn't quite hit the the sun nor gets in contact with my skin as much and you'll see that inside i don't know if you can see it there are some black corners on left and right there and that's the edge of my laptop because that's i tend to keep putting my laptop on that side and where this this metal bit here this hardware hits the material it gets dark as well i haven't had it cleaned so i'm sure it'll be it'll be fine i actually wanted the the one where they have the pink lining inside but they only had the cream one in seattle at the time and i'm glad that i did because it's a bit more it's a bit more neutral neutral so not only is this my go-to work bag but also my go-to travel bag both for work and for leisure it's i like small to to medium bags usually and but for those purposes travel and work especially in transit when you're travel this is my go it, it, it's a, it's a perfect size and if you are the type that carries a lot with you then this is a great casual casual bag and you don't have to get louis vuitton right it's just a tote right about this shape it's perfect now it's time for the dark bag this one got a story my black givenchy did i pronounce that right let me know in the comments again givenchy antigona in a smooth calf leather medium size there are three antigona sizes similar to the uh, louis vuitton never full and which is the mini the small 
and the medium, which is this one, like small, medium, large, really. They, they should just call this large because it is huge. And here's the story. Wade, my husband, bought this for me as a birthday gift when we went on our honeymoon back in 2018. We got it from the mall in Florence. So the mall is the most picturesque, got an amazing, majestic views. And it is a luxury outlet shopping center. So if you're ever nearby, Tuscany, Florence, just check it out, even just for the views. And they also have a Gucci cafe in there. So he bought me, he got me a few, a uh, couple of things. And this was one of them. Well, not exactly this, right? So here's the, uh, here's the story. As I said earlier, I'm not really into big bags, but back then I wasn't really thinking about my purchases. I only really started buying designer bags a couple of years ago. And at the time I liked it, looked good, it's cheaper. We bought it and it was, it was red. You will never really find, or very unlikely you find the, the, the neutral color, colors like black in an outlet store. It was bright red, which I didn't have any problems with because I can pull off a bright red bag. I used it a lot actually, but I was traveling to Auckland one day for work in the strap and the strap just broke. Yeah. So this part right here that where you connect it came loose. So imagine my frustration, ouch, <laughs> traveling for work and I couldn't put the bag over my shoulder because, and it had to break whilst I was traveling. So as soon as I got back to Sydney, I went to the Sydney store in Westfield. They weren't exactly very helpful. So I had to email the headquarters and I did have to send it to Paris. To pa <laughs> Did I try to say that with an accent to Paris? And then one day, then they sent me a, a note saying that they couldn't repair it. And if I was happy with a black one instead, and I didn't fight it, I could probably get more wear out of a black one. So I agreed. I'm telling you guys, this is the, I've had four designer bags that had to, that's just decided to randomly fall apart. And I don't know why I still keep, keep buying it. And here's the note that they, they sent me to Mrs. Mario Berman Price. It was a handwritten note. Dear Marielle, we are sorry for the issue encountered with your Givenchy product. You received today a new Antigona bag in black, smooth leather as you wish. Didn't wish it. Anyway, we hope you will enjoy using it. Thank you for your loyalty, Givenchy customer service. I have not stepped foot in another Givenchy store again. I guess it was really more of the experience that I had at the Westfield Sydney store more than more than anything. So. Well, let's now look at the, the features of this bag. It's a really heavy bag. Wade actually weighed it just before we started filming. It's about 1.3 kilos and it's quite boxy and very structured, which I like. It's a removable strap, which I have, it's quite, there is a trick, trick to it. I barely use that. I, when I do, when it gets too heavy, I, I do put it over my shoulder, but it's too big, as I said, and I'm quite small. So when I do, it's pretty much the size of my upper upper body. So it's not exactly exactly very uh, flattering. It's a smooth leather, as I said earlier, but there's no scratch. Like a, maybe a very like all right, some I lied, tiny ones in there. But I'm the type that would put my bag on the floor. And speaking of that. It doesn't come with studs, but it has these two strips that actually lifts it up so it doesn't exactly hit the uh, the surface. I've got the, even the red one had the silver hardware 
and it's very easy. It's very easy to just zip there. It's got a huge zipper. Zipper is very smooth, but a lot of people actually complain that it's hard to get your arm or hand inside. It opens quite wide here, but because it has a massive zipper, I don't know if that's about an inch, I'm not sure. It doesn't open just quite as wide where it where it ends. So it's a bit of like a, uh, like a V shape. So maybe in the mini and the small size, it is hard to get your hand arm in and out and to pull things in and out of it but with the medium size no worries at all not a problem for me i've got quite a small wrist um, as well in the inside there is a zipped pocket yeah pocket and then on the other side it's got two pockets that stitch to it one that is big for your phone and one that is slightly got an elastic in it and it's got this it's got the cloth black cloth inside as well so wade bought this for 1138 euros which in the current exchange rate converts into 1837 australian dollars and i saw it retailing in Farfetch Australia for 2,950 and I link that down below so it's over a thousand dollars than what we paid well what he paid for it but I don't think I'll ever sell it because I do have a um, special place in my heart and saying that it's not exactly the the same bag anymore but that's pretty that's pretty good can you wear it outside of work could be good for dinners as well and as long as it's not too you know a dinner that's not too casual but definitely not too formal either because due to its due to its size travel is good for travel but only at the airport and in the plane because as i said it's very it's very heavy so it could get quite uncomfortable if you're doing sightseeing and it's very it's very huge but at the airport i would usually have my hand carry in a rolly hand carry so i would just put that on top of it and it, at the air uh, on the plane i would just you know you can just pop that inside pop that underneath or in the overhead no worries so it's um and then no scratch it's been through it's been through a lot of travel as well so it's a good it's a good size good size bag and my 13 inch macbook pro does fit into it so i promise you a bonus bag it is another bag that i sometimes use for work remember what i said in the beginning that for me a work bag must or should fit my laptop but well it doesn't quite fit in this bag it, it sort of does and this is my first designer bag not exactly but you know it's the first that i actually own not share with my mom it's it's mine wade got this one for me as well it's a mew mew seasonal bag but almost all of my bags have a story of some sort and this one in particular was a gift to me by wade for for my 25th birthday so it's yep it's eight years old and you can probably tell yeah but not really so the cracks are actually it's design and it's on purpose and i found the receipt i do keep all my receipts in my bag because you'll never know when you need to have it repaired and you need it uh it's called a crack crackwell crackwell because of the cracks i think so and so that is on purpose but obviously some of it have actually fallen off especially around the handles and the corners yeah so wade and i were having lunch or dinner i can't remember if i probably look at the time in the receipt i'd be able to see but we were in the city and he just randomly said i'll buy you a bag for your birthday and we've been together for three years at that point and i did not hesitate my friends i did not shy away from the offer but it was rushed you know we had a budget and 
just walked around the the shops and the stores no plan really of which bag to to get so whichever i liked you know that's what we went for and this was it this was this was the one it will always have a special place in in my heart it's actually the my only bag that has an old leather smell and i think it's because i was stuffing it with newspaper previously to keep it shape i've then i've stopped doing that because i read somewhere that it actually does make your bag smell and i've taken it out of my of its dust bag as well so i can air it out and i'm mm, happy to announce that it doesn't smell as strong anymore so my laptop does fit as i said if you put it in vertically it sort of it sort of does fit it just makes it a bit awkward and hard to carry that's about it couldn't really put it in the crook of your arm but it also has a a body a cross body strap yeah so it's a top handle but it also has a cross body strap which almost all of my bags have have one i i do like to be hands-free i think it's it's definitely more practical to have a crossbody bag and when you're traveling yeah, i find it safer i feel like they couldn't really take it away from me and i can put it in front of me so i do prefer a hands-free crossbody type of bag and it has three compartments you got the this half the middle where it has a zipper and the the back bit as well so this is where i would usually put my toiletries the middle part i don't usually use i would just pop in the the strap in there actually and also the dust bag and then the other the third compartment is where i would put my nine my non-toiletries i like separating them like the dirty <laughs> versus the versus the, the versus the clean and it's also got a pockets in there and and on this side it's got another pocket zipper as well zip pocket where it goes as deep as the bag and it has this smoothest cloth i don't know if it's partly silk i don't know lining and it's very nice there there are gold studs underneath and again you'll see some discoloration there i do as i said i put stuff um on surfaces so it's a gold hardware as you can see the gold hardware some you know wear and tear in there but for the most part it's eight years it's been holding it's still quite shiny for the most part i'll do a review of my my speedy as well in the hardware in that is a bit mm. Anyway, as I said, it's a seasonal bag, so there's not a lot of people that has the same has the same bag. And I've had it for eight years, and I have not seen another person with the same bag. They only sold one of each of the color, so it comes in black and white. There's a black and red as well. So I can't remember if it's one per color in Australia or per state, but hey, I have not seen anyone else when wade bought this eight years ago for 1570 australian dollars and there are aren't i've seen a few resellers but they're all sold out so i couldn't really see the price if you find it let me know in the comments as well but it has its lost shape a little bit but it's not i've been trying to salvage it with with stuffing it by stuffing it and keeping it upright and it's still not too it's still not too it's not too bad and it, given that this was my first designer bag i wore it to death work travel going out it's the perfect size you know it's not too small not too big and being top handle plus crossbody it's easy to it's very easy to wear and i have to admit though wearing it crossbody because of its size not exactly very small might not be might not work for everyone as you can see that the strap there that, that's where it would usually hit i only wear it cross body when i am traveling and i want to be hands-free otherwise it's top handle for work 
it's a short commute from where I live to the office so it doesn't bother me too much that I'm carrying it top handle I don't use it for travel as much or anymore at all to be honest because I don't like using bags that can be easily accessed yeah so there's only got a zipper in the middle but you can easily access uh, access the front and the back so when you are sightseeing you gotta be you gotta be careful so yeah it's also black and white if you don't carry a laptop for work then a tote then a then a bag of this size a top handle with a crossbody would be great that is that is it so the key takeaway that i'd like you to take away from this video is that you don't have you don't need to have too many work bags and one one or two are fine and a light in a dark one if you must would really cover your whole work wardrobe i hope you enjoyed that and found it useful there'll be more we post a video every week so make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you next week